Hello everybody, I'm Vivian Scott. I'm the District Director of Student Conduct and Integrity here at Broward College. And today I'm going to show you how to reassign an incoming report in Maxian. So I'm going to make some assumptions here. I'm assuming that you have already logged into Maxian via the single sign-on feature through BC1 Access. And so after you've done that, you'll actually come to your dashboard and you'll see your name here, as well as any items that are pending for you. But for right now, we're gonna focus on the incoming reports screen. And so in order to get there, as you see in the left navigation bar, you wanna go ahead and click incoming reports right there at the top. And what you're gonna see is our default seven day period will show you which reports have been, uh, which incidents have been reported within that particular seven day period. And so if you're looking for something that happened previous to this, you can go ahead and you can expand that date range and you'll be able to see that. But for right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on this first incoming report. And there are a number of things that you can see. You can see when the incident took place, when it was submitted, and then you can see the location, who was involved, who submitted the report, as well as who holds the report. And then you can also see which stage that report is in. And so this report is pending because we have not yet turned this into a case. And so in order to review that, you can click on the PDF icon here and as you can see, the report didn't pop up. And that is because there is an attachment associated with that report. So you can click on the attachment or you can click on the incident report. And so we're gonna click on the incident report. And as you do that, you can review this to determine who it belongs to if you're assuming that it doesn't belong to you. And so two things that will help you to do that um, are the incident location, as well as potentially some of the details of what happened in that case. And that will determine whether or not it's a Title IX issue, whether or not you need to work with the Title IX coordinator, or whether or not it needs to be investigated uh, by the district director of student conduct, myself. And so reading through the form will help you to determine who it belongs to. And so we've determined that this has taken place um, at Central Campus. And so what we're gonna do is we are going to reassign this to the Dean of Students at Central Campus. In order to do that, where you see action here, you wanna go ahead and click edit. And then here where it says action to take for all selected IRs, you wanna hit that drop down and you wanna reassign. And then the new recipient box pops up and what you're gonna do is select. Now you can only select someone who is uh, considered a hearing officer in Maxian. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna select Dean James Evans and click go and that's it. And so now you can see that the IR is held by James Evans and it's still showing his pending because he hasn't turn that into a case yet. So basically all you want to do is you want to um, take action. You want to check here and then you want to select reassign and then you're going to select the person, uh, most likely the Dean of Students at the campus where the incident took place. And then that's it. If you have any questions about Maxient or this process in particular, feel free to contact my office at extension 4886 and I'll be happy to assist you.